Alright guys, let's continue. 2.6 Confidence Interval for Population Variance and Population Standard Deviation. So before this, you have Confidence Interval 1 mu and then you have Confidence Interval Independent Cases and you have Confidence Interval Dependent Cases, Confidence Interval 1 pi, Confidence Interval 2 pi. Okay, so now you will have 2.6 Confidence interval for 1 sigma or sigma square. Confidence interval for 1 population variance or 1 population standard deviation. So by the end of this topic, you should be able to estimate the confidence interval for population variance sigma square and population standard deviation sigma. So we want to estimate uh, the confidence interval for sigma or sigma square. So, what is the formula? So, you can look at your stat table. Your stat table, page 7, you will have this formula. Confidence interval for sigma square. There's only one formula. So, lower boundary, n minus 1 times s square over k. This one is not x. This one, we call it as chi square. Okay? Chi square. Alright? So, this one is the chi square alpha over 2 nu for the upper boundary and minus 1 times s square what is s square sample variance divided by chi square 1 minus alpha over 2 nu where the nu is n minus 1 so not here this one is the chi square so now we no longer use z or t we will use chi square okay it looks like x but it's, it's actually a chi square like this okay so how do we get confidence interval for sigma standard deviation you just square root your answer here okay so let's look at example so before that before we go to the example uh, for chi square we will use table 6 percentage point of the chi square distribution so we no longer exact we no longer use t we will use chi square so let's look at our example Example 2.11, 2.11. Okay. Read the question. A random sample of 10 rulers produced by a machine give a set of data below in centimeter. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 formula. Uh, 10 data. Find the 95% confidence interval. So, confidence level is 95%. For the population variance sigma square and standard deviation sigma of all the rulers produced by the machine give a comment on the 95 percent confidence interval for the population variance all right so now you have here confidence level 95 percent so what is the formula so the formula for confidence interval is n minus 1 s square over chi square alpha over 2 nu for the lower boundary and for the upper boundary and minus 1 s square over chi square 1 minus alpha over 2 nu okay let's look at our question do we have the n n is equals to 10 do we have the s s you have to find put the data into your calculator come up with the s and the s square so the s square is equals to 0 0.0101 and the s is equals to 0 0.1006 how do we get this s and s square put your data into your calculator and come up with the s so now we all we have the s okay we don't know the chi square now so how to find the chi square okay confidence level 95 percent alpha is 0 0.05 so we have two alpha here the first one is alpha over 2 is equals to 0 0.05 over 2 0 0.025 and the other one is 1 minus alpha over 2 so 1 minus 0 0.025 is equals to 0 0.975 so you have two alpha so now you have to find chi square Okay, chi square 
alpha over 2 0 0.025 nu nu is equals to n minus 1 our n is 10 minus 1 is 9 so 0 0.0259 and another one you have to find chi square 1 minus alpha over 2 0 0.975 nu is 9 so how to find this one go we'll go back to our distribution here okay first you have to find chi square 0 0.025 to 5 nu is 9 okay look at our alpha here alpha 0 0.025 is here and nu 9 is here so here you will get oops sorry okay here so 19.0228 another one is chi square 0 0.975 9 Okay, alpha 0 0.975 is here. 9 is here. You put it. The midpoint will be 2.7004. Okay, then you substitute into the formula. Okay, this one is 19.0228. This one is 2.7004. And then we substitute into this formula. Okay. So confidence interval is equals to n minus 1, 10 minus 1 times 0 0.0101 over 19.0228 for the lower boundary. For the upper boundary, 0 minus 1. 0 0.0101 over 2.7004 okay substitute into your calculator you will get the answer 0 0.0048 for the lower boundary and the upper boundary 0 0.0337 okay interpret we are 95% confident that the population variance of all the rulers lies between 0 0.0048 and 0 0.0337 okay done for the sigma square done okay the question also asks for sigma so what you have to do is you just have to square root this answer so the confidence interval for the sigma is equals to square root 0 0.0048 and square root 0 0.3 0 0.0337 so you will get 0 0.0693 and 0 0.1836 for the sigma okay this one is for the sigma square variance so this one is for the sigma standard deviation so what is the difficulties here there is no difficulties actually but the trick here is this one first you need to find the alpha over 2 second one you need to find y minus alpha over 2 so you have to look at the question carefully for the lower boundary it will use alpha over 2 for the upper boundary it will use 1 minus alpha over 2 then you just have to substitute into the formula to get the confidence interval okay one-sided lower bound and one-sided upper bound for sigma square or sigma okay so as usual for the one-sided alpha cannot be divided by two okay you will just have alpha and one minus alpha so for the lower bound it is sigma square greater than n minus one s square over the over chi square alpha nu for the upper boundary sigma square less than right so if you look at here one-sided lower bound it is lower boundary until infinity for the upper bound 0 until 
your uh, upper boundary where your upper boundary and lower boundary greater than zero okay now let's do the exercise exercise 2.6 number one so read the question carefully first extract the information underline all the keyword okay so a dairy processing company claims that the variance of the variance of the amount of fat in the whole milk processed by the company is 0 0.25 a random sample of 41 milk containers is selected and give a variance of 0 0.27 construct a 95 percent confidence interval for the population standard deviation the question asks for confidence interval sigma Give a comment on the parameter as T mid. Okay, from the question, extract the information. <coughs> a dairy processing company claim that the variance of the milk is 0 0.25. So, 0 0.25. And then you have a random sample of 41 milk. So, N equals to 41. And give a variance of 0 0.27. So, daripada 41 sample... They calculate the S square sample variance equals to 0 0.27. So, what is the symbol for 0 0.25? 0 0.25 is the sigma square. Okay. So, right. Now, you can find the confidence interval. Confidence interval is equals to and minus 1 s square over chi square alpha over 2 nu and minus 1 s square over chi square 1 minus alpha over 2 nu okay now you have the n you have the s square and s square and s square now you don't have the alpha over 2 nu okay uh, confidence level is 95% so alpha is 0 0.05 right and then alpha over 2 is 0 0.025 1 minus alpha over 2 is 1 minus 0 0.025 is equals to 0 0.975 okay nu nu is equals to n minus 1 our n is 41 so, nu is equals to 41 minus 1 equals to 40. Okay. So, look at your stat table, guys. Look at your stat table. Chi square 0 0.025. Nu is 40. So, what is the value? 59.43417. So, for the chi square 0 0.975 nu is 40 so look at your stat table they give you 24.4330 so now what you have to do is just substitute all into the formula equals to n minus 1 is 40 times s square 0 0.27 divided by 3.17 the upper boundary 40 times 0 0.27 divided by 24.4330 okay, substitute into your calculator you will get the lower boundary 0 0.1820 and the upper boundary 0 0.4420 so now interpret oh okay don't forget this one you get for the sigma square the question asks for sigma okay what you need to do you have to square root so confidence interval for sigma is square root 0 0.1820 and square root 0 0.4420 so you will get the last answer 0 0.4266 for the upper boundary and 0 0.66 for
for A for D, 0 0.4266 for the lower boundary and 0 0.6648 for, for the upper boundary. And lastly, don't forget to interpret. Okay, done for exercise number 1. Question number 2. 10 independent measurements of the dissolution rate of a certain chemical are taken at a temperature of 10 degrees C. The results in degrees C are as follows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Find the 98% confidence interval for the population variance of dissolution rate. Interpret your answer. Uh, N equals to 10. Confidence level is 98%. So alpha is 0 0.02. The formula is N minus 1. A square over chi square alpha over 2 nu and n minus 1 a square over chi square 1 minus alpha over 2 nu okay so from this data you can find the s and the s square so the s is equals to 1.5909 so this is the s square 1.5909 so here mm, alpha over 2 is equals to 0 0.01 1 minus alpha over 2 is 1 minus 0 0.01 equals to 0 0.99 so look at the stat table chi square 0 0.01 nu is n minus 1 9 9 so chi square alpha 0 0.01 nu is 9 equals to 21.6660 chi square uh, 1 minus alpha over 2 0 0.99 nu is 9 is equals to 2.08 7, 9 ok, a square and chi square substitute all into this formula and is 10 minus 1 is 9 times 1.5909 divided by 21.6660 upper boundary 9 1.5909 Divide by 2.0879. Okay, final answer is 0 0.6609, and the upper boundary is 6.8577. The interpretation we are 98%. Confident that the population variance of the solution rate lies between zero point six six zero nine and six point eight. Five seven seven.